When I was initially diagnosed, um, I was I was having my hair and makeup trial for our wedding and I was four months pregnant with Alexandra and I deteriorated very quickly and my girlfriend got me to the local clinic um, I, where I collapsed and they got me straight up onto a gurney and hooked up to an ECG which was a fortunate thing because then we got a, an accurate reading about what was going on. I at the time thought I was going to die with my baby um, and Mark was with me he joined us at the hospital where my girlfriend looked after Sam um, so that was a, a, a big shock to the system um, to learn that it actually was my heart leading up to that I'd had a number of attacks and I always thought something wasn't quite right and that it wasn't a musculoskeletal spasm <laughs> there was something going on but I tried to play it down so they cardio averted me and I spent five days in hospital um, because I was pregnant and there were risks that, that were associated with being pregnant and things and the medication. Um, my initial worries were that I could miscarriage, miscarry with, with Alexandra. Um, then we, we, got, we gradually got over that and, and dealt with that. And then it was um, the medications what impact were those medications going to have on my life? So how was I going to be able to function with a toddler and a baby on the way? How was it going to affect my emotional well-being, um, my physical energy-wise? Um, you know, uh, was it something that um, was going to stop these attacks from happening or were they going to continue to happen? Um... You know, getting through the wedding, um, making it to my wedding, uh, that was a big fear that I didn't think that I was going to actually make it to the day, that something was going to, to happen to me. Um, and then you gradually work through that process and you, you realise, no, okay, we, we're good, it's, it's going to be fine. You um, empower yourself with knowledge, you ask the cardiologists um, the questions that you have over a period of time and my cardiologist is absolutely wonderful. Um, I can ring him anytime or my GP and she will get on the phone to him and ask him the questions that um, we might have um, and he will he will answer those. There were a lot of fears and worries to start off with um, and then as we gradually got through those and got over those um, worries then it, it, it just ba basically became long term. Um, what would be the management long term? What did it mean long term? What did AF mean? Okay, we, we empowered ourselves with with the knowledge of um, what AF meant, that it wasn't a, a life-threatening um, thing. And we just went on from there, really. Uh, it wasn't until I had my second and third attacks that it brought up new issues in terms of okay these are happening on a regular basis I have the children with me um, you know driving the car uh, one happened whilst I was driving the car is this going to be my life from here on in am I never going to be able to go on holiday overseas um, are we never going to be able to travel more than sort of an hour away in the car because we don't want to be too far from help getting to me if something happens. Am I always going to have to have help with the children, um, putting the children into daycare? Alex went into daycare um, at about a year old, um, which was not something that I wanted at all, but my attacks were becoming quite regular um, and increasingly worse. So it was a practical measure that we had to, had to take. So yeah, it brings up a lot of fears and a lot of um, anxieties around each time. As, as time goes on, there are new things you have to face. But because you've put those other things behind you and you've faced those and dealt with them, you reevaluate yourself and, and your situation and you say, okay, right, well, this is what we need to do from here on in.